Hello everyone, this is Samsung S21 Ultra, it was released 3 years ago and I bought it for 260 euros and uh, it's time to review it. I bought it 2 weeks ago and I've been using it since then as my only and primary phone and uh, yeah, uh, let's uh, talk very very fast about specs. So in the front of the phone you have a uh, uh, huge 6.8 inches uh, AMOLED display with uh, uh, 1440p resolution and 120 Hz and it has uh, HDR10 plus and 1500 nits peak brightness it's protected, protected with Corning Gorilla Glass Victus uh, first generation on the back uh, you have a glass uh, background and uh, triple camera set setup no quadruple camera setup so four cameras in the back uh, on this side you have absolutely nothing and on the other side you have a power button and volume button as you can see this one is in the really good uh, condition a few marks here and there it has a screen protector over it that I just as soon as I bought it I put it on because the guy who used it before me really kept it in uh, good uh, good condition it has 12 gigabytes of ram and 256 gigabytes of storage as for the battery it's 5000 milliamps it's more like 4850 milliamps and it charges with uh, 25 watts uh, wire charging i believe it also supports wireless charging just let me check yeah it's uh 25 uh, it's 15 watts of wireless charging and it also has reverse wireless charging so uh as you can see specs are amazing given for 2020 uh, for great display, uh, it has a decent battery, it has great camera setup. Uh, as for the software, uh, as for the software, just a second please, it has uh, Android 14 uh, with the One UI uh, 6 upon it, and it came out originally with uh, Android 11, so it got uh, updates to 12, 13, and 14, and it will get 15, and another year of security updates after it. Pretty amazing. Uh, on the software side, I really like this software, it has a lot of customization, and it's really nice and smooth, as you can see, everything is really, really working nicely. Uh, I have a lot of stuff that runs in the background, I'll just close it all and show you again. As you can see, no problem with loading data and apps uh, whatsoever. So you have upgrade here, you can uh, arrange it to be alphabetically, as I did, or by the order of installation. And you have a few options that you can uh, change in uh, home screen like folder grid, app grid, uh, and stuff like that, nothing too special. My favorite option is that it can also be used in landscape mode. So portrait and landscape modes for home screen, very nice indeed. On the left side you have your uh, Google uh, feed. Uh, if you swipe down uh, like this, you will get notifications and uh, switches, and if you swipe uh, again, uh, you will get uh, full uh, control center here with every possible thing you can wish for to control on it. Uh, of course phone supports uh, double tap to wake and of course it supports uh, uh, fingerprint unlocking that is very fast so fast that I didn't even put uh, uh, smart lock or uh, uh, face unlock on it uh, One UI 6 is really nice has a lot of features and options uh, gallery is rich and it has options like to hold here and then it uh, cuts the subjects and you can save it as sticker or something like that. Uh, it also has option uh, integrated uh, remaster option and object remover, uh, so you can uh, do that. Um, I, I don't really use it, I'm kind of used on uh, Snapseed and Google Photos to edit, uh, but let's, let's try Magic Eraser, okay, let's try it on this phone, uh, okay, object eraser. Uh, let's remove this one here, okay, erase, it works decent enough. You also have, of course, a good lock app, 
that enables you to further customize your phone uh, so you can change everything you want in it what i did mostly is to customize uh, a lock screen and always on display so always on display all icons are in the red and the clock is like this uh, when you double tap it goes to this clock and my, of course my batman uh, background also i've changed how icons look and they look uh, like this because the kind of stock icons are kind of boring to me and childish looking <laughs> so i got this gold and black i'll probably switch them up a bit uh most of you will want to know about the performances of the game okay so uh i did antutu benchmark and i got uh, so it's the newest antutu 10.2.1 I get around 800,000. Uh, I cannot compare it to any other phone because they haven't still uh, put the, put out rating for this new Antutu. But for me, phone works just amazingly smooth. And I would never say that this is a 3 8 uh, processor in it, especially when you combine it with these smooth animations and uh, 120 Hz uh, display. Uh, you have some fun options here in. Uh, in uh, this phone settings, especially in developer options. I don't know where it is now, but you can see how many uh, frames per second you have. Yeah, so you can see frame per second. It was 120, now it was 60, but then when you work, it goes back to 120. Of course, I will turn that back off, but it's useful when you're playing games or something, you want to know how your phone is working. It's worked really nice. Uh, uh, let me just show you a bit under the settings. So basically you can adjust really about everything. Uh, under display you have uh, adaptive or standard, so 60Hz or up to 120Hz and it can go below that. You can zoom in your screen, you can change your resolution for, to full, full HD to Quad HD. I cannot use it here because that's recommended uh, with the phone, it came like that. And I really don't need uh, much more than that. Uh, you can switch uh, edge panels, you can make them more here, I only have a few basic apps like uh, this. Where's my calculator? I need to move it back here, no problem with that. Uh, charging information, when you plug in a charger, if it's a um, fast charger, it will be from 0 to 100% in around 120 minutes. Uh, one thing I'm not pleased about this phone is battery. It's okay -ish because it's uh, this phone is old now around 30 months so this battery is over 30 months and it lost about 20% uh, of its capacity I can uh, I usually get around four four and a half hours of screen of time I never get less than that ex except today when I recorded this so I played I played PUBG and I stole Genshin Impact so it's uh, yeah it it took a while to download all that and install and try and everything but yep yeah, okay uh, of course I will show you gameplay uh, you can switch apps like this, really smooth as you can see. Uh, let's uh, talk about uh, camera specs. Uh, so quad cameras on the back, uh, main camera is 108 megapixels, uh, 1 over 1.30 inches and uh, F aperture is f1.8. You have uh, ultra wide f2.2, also 12 megapixels and you have Two zoom lenses. Uh, the one is 12 megapixels. Uh, sorry, they're both 10 megapixels. Uh, one is 3x uh, with f2.4, and the other is 10x with f4.9. Uh, so that two lenses are mostly good results during the day. At the night, not so much, but yeah, you can expect that from that small sensors and, and small apertures there. Uh, and now I think it's time for, to check a bit uh, camera software. So camera app is really responsive, it's fast, it switches les lenses uh, really fast. I know I had like S21 FE, it was kind of laggy when it was doing this, and not this one, this one is really nice. Uh, you have a 108 megapixel option and you have option to have detail enhancer and you'll see later when I show samples, it really doesn't have details and it's significant difference than from a basic 100 uh, basic 12 megapixel mode you also have portrait mode uh, that uses a main camera or 3x lens camera that's great 
under video you have settings here it goes up to 8k 24 uh, frames per second but i always keep it at uh, ultra hd 30 because all the lenses uh, on this phone support that resolution and that frame rate and that's how i get best results you have also super steady uh, video mode on that uses uh, ultra wide lens uh, under more options uh, you have uh, uh, expert row expert row is a great mode where you have all the shiny bells and whistles including uh, uh, multi exposures and uh, you have astro photo i haven't used it yet because the weather was not really friendly to shoot stars uh, where i am uh, living now uh, but i will use it definitely will try it you also have basic pro mode pro video mode uh let me check this yeah you can shoot pro mode pro video mode with all lenses and that's really nice uh you also have a uh, just a second uh dedicated night mode the phone usually uh chooses when to use night mode so it has all the night mode so you don't need to use this one but you can uh what else food mode panorama super slow motion slow motion hyperlace portrait video that works only uh, with uh, human faces. Director's view where you can use uh, all the cameras at the same time. I guess someone can find that useful. Uh, and uh, you also have a single take that you just point the click and it does everything else for you. Uh, when you switch here, uh, sorry, I need to exit single take. So front facing camera, 10 megapixels, it can go like this or like this. Uh, also when you're shooting video during the video you can switch all the lenses uh, including the front one in the same video file so that's really nice and useful uh, also uh, gcam on this uh, cam is available and working and i just kind of installed it and it works so i need to configure it a bit as you can see you can switch all the lenses here so you have uh, one x lens 0.6, 2.9, and the 9.9 .9 lens, and then you have another one X. I don't know why it's that there, but okay. Uh, I, uh, results from uh, GCam are better than uh, with stock cam, but I do need to spend some time to make my own configuration for it to be uh, uh, for everyday usage. Uh, so that's that's basically it. Uh, now we will switch to. Uh, camera and uh, video samples Before I go to camera samples, I'll just show you a bit of PUBG I entered just the training mode to show you it works. See, it's locked in a 60 frame per second I don't know why you can probably do some something to, to make it uh, better But as you can see stable 60 frames per second and it works really really nice I'm not big uh, mobile phone uh, player, but uh, for some of you who would like to get this phone and are interested, you can check here. Okay, now I'll switch to Genshin Impact to show you there. They call me noob, but I have no idea where do you check uh, uh, where do you check settings in in this game. I try to click uh, here, like oh yeah, here in the settings. Okay, let's check graphics. Uh, medium, 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 low, medium. FPS can go up to 60. Okay, I guess. Okay, let's let's see how it plays. Okay. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, it's it. It's at 60 frames per second. Ooh, will someone fight me here? No, I don't know how to play this game. I'll just run around a bit So for, for me, this looks really decent Oh, it's actually a really nice game Oh, what's going on? Ah, oh, some car scene. Yeah, okay, so yeah, you can play PUBG and Genshin Impact no, no problem So probably you can play every other game as well So I have a few uh photo samples for you and we'll just go through it and I'll sh share my opinions with you this was very hard shot to take because the sun was at the background it's the main lens you can see f1.8 
Uh, it's rather crispy and sharp with the well-balanced background. I've tried the same shot with Mate 20 Pro and it was just horrible. So this one is okay for me. Uh, this is the same distance, but shot with the 3x lens, and you can see also very nice and detailed. Uh, flower shot with difficult background, so it's almost the same, but uh, 10x shot did this really nice. You can see f is 4.9. It will not be always the sharpest lens out there, but decent. Uh, again, uh, 10x shot of a cat toy. Another cat toy for my niece, another shot of a flower, uh, I believe this is 3x, yes, 3x shot, bit over sharpened, but nice, I like it, I like this photo. Okay, uh, just selfie from uh, with quite dark background and uh, light coming from this side, and texture is actually really nice, so yeah, uh, good uh, front camera on this photo. Oh, just another random shot. I think this is 3x. Yep, f2.4, 10x. Uh, where was I here? Uh, this is 1x. No, 3x. Very nice for 3x. Uh, 10x shot. Yeah. Ah, noisy, but I believe it's 10x. You, you, it doesn't get much better than this unless you buy, I don't know, S24 Ultra. Uh, Night shot, car. Yeah, nothing special, noisy, but everything is in the focus and everything is sharp and not blurry. Again, uh, not the best image quality in the nighttime, but you will not get missed focus shots, and that's kind of that became most important to me. I want every shot to be usable. Uh, this is through the rather uh, dirty uh, window of the car, so it's okay. 10x shot at the evening, yeah, decent. Uh, one at shot, uh, 0 0.1 seconds, so probably night mode. Bit noisy, but again, highlights are nicely preserved, shadows are not too much destroyed. Uh, this is extreme low light, so this phone is kind of good until you get to the extreme low light. In the extreme low light, it's just decent and usable. Okay, 3x shot, yep, 3x shot to a flower and the uh, closed room at the night, good enough. Uh, this is at early morning, so the sun was coming from here, and you can see there are no burnt highlights, all details are visible, and shadows are good. So, yeah, For everyday usage, this gun is just okay. Uh, 1x shot, 10x shot. Uh, 3x shot, I believe, yeah. Again, very difficult highlight in the background. My friend just, uh, he was going to put th these three fingers down in the next shot. I'm not sure that. Uh, my dog, I believe one X. Yeah, really nice, really sharp and detailed. It always focuses on the eyes and I love that. Again, here you have portrait mode. I don't like portrait mode to use on phones because they always go too much with the blurry good background. Always take normal shot and then you can blur the background yourself if you like it. Uh, 3x shot of a sandwich because why not? Okay, this was really nice sandwich. Uh, eggs and uh, homemade, uh, how do you call this? Sausage, whatever. Uh, this is again 1x shot. Pretty nice. It could be a bit better in the shadows. I think this 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 was not the normal mode. I here tested something in pro mode, so it's kind of bit bit lower quality. Uh, one X shot, very nice. You can see how this one is much worse than this one. Uh, okay, so my cat, and just let me show. This is one X shot. This is, I believe, three X shot, and this is ten X shot. <laughs> So you can get real in there with your pets. Uh, okay, again, uh, one X shot. See how blurry it is here, and because the focus is in the background. Then three X, amazing, and ten X, and for the bonus, thirty X. <laughs> I mean, this is great. For thirty X, this this is amazing. Okay, let's move forward. 
Again, my cat on a car, it's all cars, so I don't care if it lies there and scratches it. No worries, 1x, very nice, amazing background separation here. Everything's kind of creamy in the back. Uh, 3x, you can see how in 1x uh, the focus is uh, on the eyes and then the back of the cat is not in the focus. That's big sensor and and wide aperture. And now when you have a bit smaller sensor and a sharper, uh, smaller aperture, the rest of the cat is in focus, but the uh, distancing from the background is great. And then, then again, yeah, another 3x, yes, sorry. And then 10x, 10x when the background is so very nicely compressed, you just, it's amazing you can get something like this from the phone. Don't zoom in, don't look at the details, it's 10x, it's small sensor, but for the price I paid this phone, this is amazing. Uh, 10x shot, I believe, yep, 10x shot, you can, you can almost kind of notice what kind of a background blur it has it, so you know it's 10x. 10x with the flower again, 3x, yep, 3x, and I was very near this one, so 3x can really focus uh, near to you, and that's great. I've just shot of some food. They, they, those peppers were so hot. Very nice uh, French fries, though. Just a colleague. Yeah, decent enough. You can, uh, after process, you can add a bit sharpening here and a bit contrast there, and you get amazing photo. Uh, I just sent a photo of this to my girlfriend, and uh, I kind of think it, it looked cool. <laughs> so, yeah. I have air fryer, but I'm thinking about buying a newer one with a bit more capacity. Uh, okay, uh, 3x shot from the car, from the uh, through the dirty mirror, so window, so it's okay. Oh, car smell shot, okay. 10x again. Uh, ultra wide, I believe. Yep, ultra wide. This is first ultra wide we have. So dynamic range is kept very nicely. Of course, it kind of falls apart near the edges. The middle is sharp enough. This is 1x, 1x is really decent. Uh, of course, I have Gcam on this phone. Uh, I, need to, uh, I need to use it a bit more these days. I kind of didn't felt need for it. 3x, it could be better, but not the worst. I believe again 1x, yep, 1x, one, no, ultra wide, very nice ultra wide. 10x, it's in, uh, it's in uh, artificial lighting and uh, not too many light sources, so it's not the best, but again, it's 10x, it's from the phone. 3x shot, 3x shot, 1x shot, 1x shot, 3x shot. 3x shot is really my favorite lens of this phone. It kind of reminds me of all the Huawei lenses uh, in P30, P Mate 20 Pro, P40. My favorite lens is 3x shot. Uh, 1x, I believe. Yeah, 1x. 3x, yes. And 10x. Again, shot of a coffee mug, coffee mug, my friend, this was, I believe, 3x, yeah, but he was too, far, too near to me, so it couldn't focus on the head, it focused behind him. Uh, here it focused on the uh, head, and the colleague that was in the background is a bit out of focus, and that's normal, because focus was on this guy. Okay, where was I? Again, 3x shot, 3x shot, 3x shot, 3x shot. I like 3x shot. 1x shot on the incoming traffic. Uh, but the focus went a bit near here, so this is not much in focus, but I like this photo. It kind of has nice vibe for me. Uh, parking lot, low light, a bit noisy as you can see everywhere, but nothing too, too bad. Uh, okay, this is night mode. Night mode, when you look at the photo of this, it's okay. When you zoom in, you will see some problems, but most of us use photos just like this, and it's great. Okay, it's, uh, it's some other phones will just blow out the skylight or it will crush this shadow. No, this one keeps it. It has its uh, disadvantages, but good enough. Again, night mode. Uh, highlights very nicely preserved. 
details are okay you can see all the lines everything here all the trees all the branches everything here a uh, three shot yeah yeah even in the low lighting it's okay uh, again three shot but this one with this one was with gcam yeah agc you can see here this one was gcam and this one was with a stock cam uh, maybe i can show you how the gcam works okay let's go here just let me see okay you can see that uh, Samsung does have a bit better uh, HDR control here so highlights are preserved better uh, but when we go to kind of details you can see that Samsung uses over sharpness here and in this scenario it's not all not that bad to use over sharpening but uh, I kind of I kind of like natural look here but in this specific photo i, I choose samsung okay well, now when we are gcam i will show you uh one more so this is a 3x shot you can see i have 2.4 both of them left one is gcam the right one is stock cam you can see the gcam works with a smaller uh, lower iso value more than half lower than uh, stock cam and that's why it has better details less noise and better contrast so I, i'll make a separate video with gcam i need to uh, put a bit more time and effort in it to make it uh, my way and then i will make another video and post all the links whoever uses it but you can see that uh, gcam just crushes stock cam okay in low log just annihilates it i think i have one more yeah you can see th this is what i need to uh, do a bit more uh, customization with the uh, gcam because you can see the gcam is a bit dark here but when you look at the details it's just like it's like four generations ahead of stock gcam uh, stock cam from uh, samsung so uh, gcam is just great on this phone uh, i have a bit problem with the uh, main lens and gcam they're not working great together i have some weird color issues but i can fix it in a uh, some configuration uh, let's check a few more photos okay so this is an uh, yeah normal uh, stock uh, normal front camera as you can see very sharp uh, nice textures and the colors are just like they are uh, I also took on uh, portrait mode portrait mode on front camera is not bad at all separation is very nice I have a pretty simple haircut so it had no problem separating me from the background so yeah front camera decent enough I need to lose a bit of weight but that's okay uh, just a 10x shot of a cute corgi from a car it's again from my dirty window that I need to wash sometimes this year but yeah it's you, you can see that this camera is kind of for everyday Joe so you, you point and shoot and you get results that you can send to your girlfriend and you can laugh about how cute this dog is again a flower shot uh, just simple one x shot of my garden you can see everything is kind of colors are a bit boosted everything is sharp some people don't like it i sometimes don't like it but in this shot i like it and then you have 10x shots so you can see how this this tree is here and here you go whoa 10x very impressive uh, my dog from the back my dog uh, just uh, turned around so this is in focus and this is blurry because he's moving uh, ultra wide 1x uh, 3x 10x uh, passing train because why not let's take a shot of a passing train you can see the guy in the train here very nice again just train passing by uh, my mother cooked uh, some cabbage it was delicious with some meat you can see food, food shots are really nice so really even cabbage looks tasty <laughs> okay I'll uh, just standard one x shot three x shot in the uh, low light I've seen better probably if I turned on the night mode it would correct a bit bit more sharper but I just took it out of my pocket and took a shot same thing here uh, 10 x shot okay uh one x shot the 
uh, reflector light uh, just to see hey, will it be lens flare and no no lens flare so it really does it plays really well with the light uh, sources just from from in store shot to, to outside i guess it's okay uh, ultra wide and look here this uh, this is a fort cliss here's where game of thrones was shot and now let's check it out with a 10x zoom <laughs> I didn't expect to be any better than this because it's far away and it's kind of air is not clear so this is as good as, as it will get uh, again uh, 1x I don't know why I shot this this is just a normal shot yeah nice normal shot not every shot needs to have a story okay my cat from I believe is this large white yeah my cat from ultra wide, my cat from 1x, 3x, and 10x. Uh, this is a 108 megapixel shot. Uh, yeah, that's why I took the shot uh, before. I'll, I'll compare it to you. Just give me a second to find it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when we zoom out, you can notice a few things. First of all, the colors are more aggressive on. Uh, on normal 12 megapixels, it's a bit over sharpened and aggressive, and it has a better control of highlights. That's because it's using HDR stacking, and on 108 megapixel, it doesn't. But when you zoom in on details, here's where 108 megapixels just crushes 12 megapixels. Check it here. So when you're in main camera, turn on 108 megapixels and turn on detail enhancer. Then it will take some voodoo magic in the background, and you'll get shot, shot quality like this. Uh, okay, one uh, x, three x, ten x. Look how good, how close you can get to it. Very nice Samsung. I can't believe I'm so excited for three years old Samsung. Uh, oh, this is nice shot. So, so just few birds passing by my head uh, that are flying, uh, uh, flying back here uh, from uh, from the south and uh, it's, it's taken with 10x zoom when you zoom in you can see some problems but just don't zoom in and you have a nice shot uh, again uh, ultra wide 1x 3x 10x for me more more than enough 1x uh, 3x 10x 30x look how far we were we were in Russia and we took zoom at uh, USA. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, and this is the G cam. Yeah, I already did this. So yeah, uh, those were uh, camera samples. If you would like me to make a video sample video with the G cam and everything, how to configure it, if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments. And yeah, I hope you like this phone. I like it. I like it. 
it's decent phone for 2024 I don't see any problems with it except for the weak battery that I need to replace and I will replace it the software is good full of options uh, I didn't want to go into gallery and everything like that to show you some things you have a million videos of one UI 6 I just want to show you how me and uh, tech enthusiasts uh, like to buy things that are a bit older and see how they hold up today I would give this phone all 8 out of the 10 okay for the old phone today 8 out of the 10 it would be 9 out of 10 if it had better battery and if it had it would be 10 out of 10 if it had just a better a bit better uh, camera algorithms for especially for zoom lenses in low light yeah uh, see you next video uh, i don't know when it will be when i buy something else I'm, I'm buying everything here with my own money so this that's why sometimes i i can do three or four videos a month sometimes i can do one because you have other expenses in life and that's kind of normal yeah uh, but thank you for watching this review and uh, see you in the next one